So now we need to create the smile. And this is a little more complicated than it was in some other tools. I believe in Inventor, we have used the automatic um, three-point arc tool. In uh, Tinkercad, we just used a half circle. But we're going to actually make a good smile thing. So I'm going to go look here. I create a new sketch on the front of this face. And we're going to construct the smile by using several three-point arcs. Actually, we're going to start off with two center point arcs. So we're going to go down to center point arc. I'm going to click on the center point, bring my one end of the smile here, swing it around. There's one side. I'm going to do the same thing. This time, I'm going to come out a little farther, swing down and around. There's my second piece. Now I'm going to use two tangent arcs to go from here over to here and from over to this guy to this guy. Now, I'm not guaranteed they're all tangent, so I'm going to go down and look through the tools. Using the tangent tool, I'll select the outer guy and that one, and I believe this one and the inner one. So these are now one smile. I can double check. If I do too much, it will uh, give me an error. So those are fully constrained. Now, I'm going to take and use a horizontal constraint to make sure the two sides are even. So I'm going to click on the center point of this arc and a center point of this arc and make them horizontal. And now it's time to start dimensioning. So the first dimension we're going to do is the thickness of the smile, which I believe we had set to um, 0.125. So 0.125. OK, it got too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to escape. I'm going to take and just grab this endpoint and drag it in some. Now I'm going to dimension this inner circle to be 0.35. That's a little big. Point, point 0.3. That looks good. And then finally, from this point to this point going sideways, we're going to make that point 0.1. That looks pretty good. I could change any of these dimensions to make it cleaner, but I think that looks good. It's black. That means it's fully constrained. I can now finish this sketch. Go to an isometric view, and I'm going to take and extrude this smile, and I'm going to remove 0.1 inches, so not quite all the way in. And tab key makes it update, so that looks good. Oh, my rename never changed. So now I have my the smile done. The next piece will be putting the keyring hole in and the text.